Children learn how to interact and play with each other in a variety of social gatherings, the playground being one of them. Unfortunately, not all playgrounds can be enjoyed by all children. This morning, Yukari Nakayama takes us to Menominee Falls to highlight efforts to raise awareness for inclusive playgrounds in Wisconsin and beyond. A playground, no matter how big or how small, new or old, is one of the first places a child flexes several muscles. Could make me next. Whether that be physical, mental, or emotional, a vital experience that builds a solid foundation for the future. Melissa, do you want to go down the slide? But up until recently, this essential human experience hasn't always been accessible to all children. Hi. Hi. I'm Bobby. Like Bobby Stadler, an adult wheelchair user who has never experienced playing in an accessible playground up until this day at Village Park in Menominee Falls. He's 30 years old. He's never um, had a playground like this. We usually didn't go to parks because it was so hard to get him around, push him around, put him on things. What did it feel knowing that you could go, go on a swing like that? Awesome. He was able to experience what it was like to be on a swing for the first time or even move around a playground without having any issues. Woo! But he loves it, you know, he loves being amongst kids. Um, any ages and so this is a place where he can interact um, just like they can. The playground wheelchair accessible and has structures and toys for all physical and mental abilities. What's really important is spaces like this, the disability disappears because the barriers are gone. Ronnie Andrew is a soccer coach for Top Soccer, an adaptive soccer program for kids with disabilities. And she says luckily she's seen a number of inclusive playgrounds just like this one pop up in southeast Wisconsin. Imagination is what a playground is, and we have adults sitting in design rooms now who are trying to come up with ideas of ways to get kids up off the ground, swinging, moving, and out playing with whoever's here. Too much for you. <laughs> That's a trend former Team USA Paralympian Jill Moore wants to continue to push in all of Wisconsin and beyond because she knows that struggle. She paid the Village Park of Menominee Falls a visit to raise awareness of the need for more accessible parks and playgrounds. My goal, I, I love to see every community getting excited about it. And I think every time we do a project like this, every community, one begets the next. They wanna know what to do. They wanna create one of their own. More works with landscape structures, a company that builds these inclusive landscapes. Creating places that everybody can use. This is every ability from somebody like me in a wheelchair to someone on the autism spectrum, to someone who's blind low vision, of just everything in between. And she says her grind won't stop until the need for inclusive playgrounds is no longer a necessity. Creating inclusive playgrounds, it's spreading the importance. Uh, it's spreading the intention. It's spreading that one in four Americans has a disability. And so 25% of our population, that's a lot of people who want to use the space in an equitable way. Your turn! She says although these playgrounds are a bit more expensive to make, the smiles on the children's faces makes it all worthwhile. Just be aware and don't be afraid that you're going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. Get out there and be part of the community.